Good morning everyone. Hope you are staying home and staying safe with your parents and enjoying the quarantine. Today we will start the first chapter introduction to computer which will help you to understand what a computer is, what a machine is and how machines or computer help us in daily life. Also we will have a look at the uses and the features of computer. So a computer will make your life easy and it is a machine. Now do you know what is a machine? A machine is something that helps us to make our work easier and faster like a stapler which holds the papers together when you staple the papers together with the stapler. A bus which takes you school and back home safely and conveniently. A calculator which helps you to do a lot of calculations which are difficult to do on paper. A mixer grinder which helps you to grind and mix things so you can make yummy food at home and have a lot of fun. A scooter which helps you to go anywhere without any problem and come back home safely. All of you like to watch TV and watch movies, watch videos on TV. So that is also a machine that you use in daily life. A washing machine helps you to wash clothes very easily. We don't have to wash it with hands, right? Because earlier people had to wash clothes with their hand and that took a lot of effort. They have to do wash it with the hands. So it takes a lot of time. Now the machine does it all for us. You just put the dirty clothes into the washing machine and the machine will wash it clean, give you the clean clothes as output. So that makes our lives much easier, right? Now there are some other machines that we see around us like the refrigerator which keeps things cool and fresh, a television which is for entertainment, watching videos, an iron which irons out the wrinkles in the clothes after washing, so all these machines make our work in daily life easier. So computer is also a machine and because the computer works on electricity, it is also called an electronic machine. Now the computer like other machines can make our life easier by doing many things. Let's see what things we can do with the computer. So the computer can help you play games, listen to music and draw. Also you can type and make documents and help you solve problems. Also find information on the internet. So because the computer can do so many things for you at the same time it is also called a smart machine. Like many other th machines that we have, computer also has some features. So let's have a look at the features of computer. Clico has something to say about the features of computer. Let's hear. Hello, I'm Rini and this is my friend Clico. Hi everybody. We are here to help you learn about computers. Hi Rini, you look thoughtful. What are you thinking about? Oh, hi Clico. I was just wondering what our teacher said about computers yesterday. What has she said? Well, she said that unlike humans, a computer can do many things quickly, accurately, without making any mistake. Is it true? Yes, Rini. It is true. A computer can do many things quickly and accurately. How is it possible for a computer to do so many things without making any mistakes? Rini, a computer is an electronic machine. It is designed in such a way that it can do multiple tasks at the same time without making any mistake. Does not a computer get tired like human while working? 
No, Rennie, as the computer is a machine. It never gets tired or bored like humans by doing the same thing or many things at the same time. So, that's why the computer is said to be a special machine. Yes, Rennie, as the computer is very fast, accurate, diligent and can do multiple tasks at the same time. It is called a special machine. Tell me about some of the things that a computer can do. Using a computer, we can write a letter, chat with our friends, drop, play games, find information or get digital photos from our cameras beside other things. Wow! So many things. Does that mean a computer is superior to humans, Clicko? No, Rini. A computer is not superior to man, as it is a machine and cannot take decision on its own. Tell me something more. How a computer is different from a human being? Let me give you some points by which a computer is different from a human being. First, man needs food to work while a computer needs electricity to work. Human have their own brains while a computer has an artificial brain called CPU. A human being can work on his own while a computer needs commands to work. A human being has emotions and feelings while a computer does not have any emotions and feelings. A human being gets tired and needs rest after work while a computer never gets tired and can work longer. A human being can take decisions while a computer cannot take its own decisions. A human being is slow in computing and calculating while a computer is fast in computing and calculating. Thank you, Clico. Now I know about the difference between a human being and a computer. So I hope this helped you to understand what a machine is, what a computer is, what are the uses and features of computer. If you have any questions, you can ask after the video. Have a good day. Stay home. Stay safe.